Stop trying to make the Lord who you want Him to be. Hello there, this is Pastor Pete Pavelic. Thank you for joining me for this edition of the Daily Devo. We are going to be in Nahum chapter 1 today. Uh, I don't think I've ever read from this book of the Bible ever before on the Daily Devo, but that's where I am today, and so that's what we're going to read about, think about, and talk about here for a few minutes. If you're turning to find it, Nahum chapter 1, let me remind you about our website, pastorpete.org. You can support our ministry, contact me, and find a bunch of other resources there at pastorpete.org. Nahum 1, listen to what this says. This isn't the normal picture of the Lord. And uh, it's not what we typically want to think of God as being. We have this really bad problem as humans of trying to create God in the image we want Him to be. We want to build an image of who God is based on our expectations, based on our ideas of morality, based on uh, who we think God should be or how God should act. Rather than just letting the Word of God tell us and show us and speak to us as to the nature of God. We all want a God of love and grace and forgiveness and mercy and compassion. And God is all of those things in in great abundance. Believe me, I'm not saying He's not. But we tend to also look past and suppress verses like this. The Lord is a jealous and avenging God. The Lord takes vengeance and his is fierce in wrath. The Lord takes vengeance against his foes. He is furious with his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger, but great in power. The Lord will never leave the guilty unpunished. His path is in the whirlwind and the storm, and clouds are the dust beneath his feet. Oh, what a powerful, powerful picture of the Lord. But even before that, the prophet here says, you know what? The Lord is an avenging God. He is a a God who takes vengeance. He is fierce in his wrath. He will not leave the guilty unpunished. These are important attributes of who God is because it reminds us of the seriousness of our sin. It reminds us that Jesus is the one and only way to the Father, that we can't expect to be justified in and of ourselves because He cannot leave those who are guilty of their sins unpunished. Those things have to be accounted for. And so if they're not accounted for through the blood of Jesus, which is the only thing that counts when it comes to sin, then they're not accounted for at all. And the Lord will come in power and He will punish. If we create this false view of who God is in our life, and if we do that for our friends and our family and our neighbors and everybody else, if we don't really create a picture of the Lord that the Bible creates how He is all-encompassing and all of these things are who He is, we're really doing ourselves and others a a disservice. So I want to encourage you, go back and read these verses today. Let them speak to you. Man, God is good and He is great, but He is also a God who is on the move against His enemies. Come visit me, pastorpete.org. We'll see you again tomorrow.